and lend my support to the efforts that um, you have underway in the Startup Weekend and the creativity and entrepreneurialism that's going on here. Um, you know, the Google Fiber Project has really allowed us as a region to start to talk about how we take steps forward in what I think is really the future of our economy. Um, you know, involved a lot in innovation, in entrepreneurialism, and a lot of the work that you're doing today. And so I'm extremely excited to be here. Clearly a testament to all of that is the building that we're in today in the Cerner Corporation. Um, starting out in maybe a, a very similar way to what you're doing and building that into, you know, one of the really premier um, companies in Kansas City and quite frankly one of the premier technology companies um, in the United States and the world. So what you're doing is extremely critical and important to our future and um, I wanted to just take a couple minutes and lend my support to that and see what you all were up to here and um, to thank you very much for all you're doing and we look forward to your success. Um, perhaps something that's going on this weekend will lead to the next Cerner for the Kansas City region which would be phenomenal but your great work is something that's impressive to me and I'm glad to be here with um, my colleague Mayor James. He and I have really grown to work really well together on innovation with our bi-state innovations team and taking advantage of this unique opportunity with Google Fiber to really highlight um, what is going on in this Kansas City region around entrepreneurialism and uh, technology and innovation. So thank you all very much and good luck this weekend. I'll turn things over to Mayor James. We have had a great time working together. Uh, Google uh, deciding to come to both Kansas City, Kansas and Kansas City, Missouri has offered us a platform for entrepreneurship. Uh, entrepreneurship is equally applicable to government and to relationships, in my opinion, as it is to business. And Joe and I have taken this opportunity to become governmental entrepreneurs. And the reason I say that is because we have the opportunity to do things differently than they've ever been done before. And we're kind of putting the script and the playbook together as we go. Um, it doesn't happen often when the mayors of two abutting cities find ways to collaborate and cooperate on business issues, other types of matters that we would normally be competitors. Um, it is a unique circumstance, circumstance for us to be able to take advantage of Google as the platform on which we will build a much broader, uh, more expansive collaborative relationship that I think will inure to the benefit of everyone in the region. And the reason I say that is, is that when things are measured these days, right now our economic impact as a city is actually not measured so much as a city as it is a region. We're the 26th largest economy in the country. And we've done that while we've been fighting with each other and taking businesses from this place to that place. What would happen if we actually learned to collaborate and work together in order to build an overall base in this region as opposed to trying to find ways to separate and make ourselves distinct from one another. The goal should be for us to be a much higher economic center than we are at 26, and the only way that we can do that is to collaborate. And we've already seen some of the benefits of our work together. And, let, and it's not just a matter of convenience. I, I actually like him. He's kind of like <laughs> my, he's, he's like my evil twin in some ways. Uh, but he's a nice guy. We went to the same college together. Um, Rockers, Rock. <laughs> Happy birthday to the Marine Corps two days ago. Um, but he's a nice guy and he's a forward thinker. And I like to think that I'm kind of open to new ideas as well, so we're working together. But first and foremost, I want to thank you all for being here and talk to you a little bit about how we view that. It's, um, I understand that the Startup Weekend and the Kauffman Foundation relationship is relatively new, but I really can't think of a better partnership for you to have at this early stage. When you consider the role of the Kauffman Foundation, as it relates to research in a lot of areas, but particularly as it relates to entrepreneurship, I don't think you could be in a better place. The Kauffman Center is not just recognized in the city or the state or the country, it's recognized across the world as being at the forefront of innovative entrepreneurial thinking. So I don't know how you could do any better. And then when you think about how the Kauffman Center came to be in and of itself, but for Ewing Kauffman, there would be no Kauffman Center. 
frankly, you're here in a building that Ewan Kaufman was responsible for. Cerner is now in it. The office that Ewan Kaufman ultimately occupied out on Ward Parkway uh, sits Greg Grace, the CEO of Burns and McDonald, another entrepreneurial enterprise that started a number of years ago. But Ewan Kaufman, just to show you what entrepreneurs do and how, well, you know what entrepreneurs do, but to show you the impact, the ultimate impact that an entrepreneur can have. Ewan Kaufman started in his basement and revolutionized the pharmaceutical industry. I think his first year he had $32,000, $36,000 of business and he had $1,000 of profit. When he sold the company in 1989 to Merrill Dow, he had about a billion dollars of a business. He employed 3,400 people. In that time, he was also responsible for, well, uh, well you know we have the all-star game here, and despite, uh, where's my, despite the Yankees cap, um, <laughs> <laughs> the game is here next year. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but the all-star game is coming to Kansas City because of what Ewing Kaufman did. When he, when, when the A's left Kansas City and this team was desperate for a team, one person stepped up, that was Ewing Kaufman. And there was a contest, but he ultimately decided to name this team the Royals. And the reason he named this team the Royals is because of two things. And if you've seen the logo, for both the Royals and for the All-Star Game, both have a crown on it, okay? And when you really think about Kansas City, there's no royalty here. But Ewan Kaufman thought that there was royalty here because he grew up as a fan of the Kansas City Monarchs. And so Monarchs is not very far from royalty, but it also incorporates another entrepreneurial enterprise that's starring Kansas City, the American Royal. And the American Royals uh, logo has a crown in it. So he combined those two things and all of a sudden we have the Kansas City Royals baseball team. So he was thinking about the town and was responsible for the Royals. He's now, uh, the games are now played in a stadium named The K uh, for Mr. Kaufman. And incidentally, Kaufman Foundation is right here in the middle of town and his daughter, Julia Irene Kaufman, uh, just opened the Kaufman Center for the Performing Arts. And if you haven't been there, if you haven't been there to see this building inside and out, you must go. It will set your mind on fire. I agree, it's pretty cool. There's no doubt. Now, you also, I told you about Greg Graves and Burns and McDonald, but you got to remember that Burns McDonald started as a couple of guys graduated from Stanford, engineers, wanted to be civil engineers. They knew that there was going to be infrastructure needed in the cities of the United States at that time, and they wanted to be part of that. So they took out a map, and they took out a compass, and they looked for the cities that had the most railheads crossing through it. And they took that compass and they drew a 200 mile radius around those cities with the idea of finding the city with the most cities in that radius that they could make it to on a one night train ride so that they could uh, build their business. Now it's Burns and McDonald Engineers, international engineering company, thousands of employees right here in Kansas City. And, and clearly, we couldn't talk about entrepreneurship in this city without talking about Cliff Illig, Neil Patterson, Paul Gora, and Cerner. Uh, what more entrepreneurial can you be? Uh, they started a company that has products, their products, in over 9,000 facilities around the country and growing stronger every day. They're responsible for uh, Livestrong Stadium and uh, Sporting KC. They're responsible for some things that are going to happen in this city out of, out of the Bannister Mall area that haven't happened yet, but I am absolutely confident will. Entrepreneurs start small in a lot of instances, but they are the backbone of this city and this region. Block, DST, Justin at Hallmark, a couple of guys that wanted to have a little greeting card company. Now, a lot of times you take it out of the envelope, you look at the back of the card before you open it up because you want to know if whoever sent it cared enough to send the very best. <laughs> and if they didn't, then when you open it up, you see there's no money there, you know exactly why they didn't send the very best. At least that's what my kids do. So you're here. 
and you have an opportunity to become the next Burns or McDonald or Kaufman or Cerner or whoever you want to be. But the really good news is, is that this city has just this tone and texture and feel right now of excitement because of people all younger than Joe sitting here now working to do something different and create more business. You know, and just before we go, a couple of things that I want to make sure that you're aware of. I'll, I'll be at the Negro, Negro Leagues tonight honoring Buck O'Neill, but this city it has such a deep and long history of entrepreneurs and other quality things that we have just been knocking down the doors re here recently with awards. So now you're here with the right people trying to do the right thing. I'd say that's a pretty good confluence of rights and that you have every opportunity to take advantage of them and I hope that you will. And I hope that when you do those things that you'll remember how much we really want you here in Kansas City and that you'll stay here and help build this into the city that we know it can. We have a great synergy, we have a great relationship, we have a great platform with our collaborative efforts with Google. My friend Joe and I are doing everything that we can to make this a city where you want to live, stay, play, build your business, and support your families, and make this really the entrepreneurial city in the country and the best city in the country. So thank you for having us. We really appreciate it.